I'm Hanjin Kim. I'm an assistant professor of strategy at INSEAD, and I'm excited to tell you a little bit about my research on the value of competitor information. The motivation behind this research is that in recent years, there has been an enormous growth in the amount of readily accessible information for firms, not just on their customers and internal operations, but also on their competitors. Today, firms across many markets can look at their closest competitors, what prices they're charging, and their latest service or product details, all with a single click. And given that a core assumption in competitive strategy is that firms are knowledgeable of key competitor decisions, barring any large information frictions, this raises the question, to what extent do firms know readily accessible information on their competitors' key decisions? And how does this information impact the strategic choices that they themselves make? I explore these questions through a large-scale field experiment across over 3,000 firms in the personal care industry. This is a setting with simple strategy spaces along pricing and quality, where firms are very closely located and can easily see competitor decisions by physically passing by, calling, or looking online. I collaborate with Yelp, which is an online reviews platform, to deliver the competitor information as naturally as possible. I send Yelp canvassers to all firms in the sample for a standard marketing visit, where firms that were randomly assigned to treatment received a personalized competitor report on the back of their marketing postcard. And what I find is that despite the fact that this information is easily accessible and managers acknowledge that they themselves can easily obtain it, the majority of firms are unable to specify who their primary competitors are and what they're charging. And this pattern persists across firms that face higher levels of competition, as well as larger and more professional firms. And yet, it turns out that this information is decision relevant. Once treatment firms obtain competitor information, they're 17% more likely compared to control firms to change their pricing. And rather than differentiating, they change their decisions by aligning them more with their closest competitors. These changes are driven especially by firms that were more misaligned in their price and quality decisions at baseline, and treatment firms observe higher proxies of performance after changing their decisions, especially those that were overpricing. Now, this poses a puzzle. Given that competitor information is both readily accessible and decision relevant, why is it that firms didn't pay attention to this information on their own? I find that managers appear to underestimate the value of paying attention, even though they believe that competitor information is important, because they hold outdated knowledge that makes them believe that they're more up to date than they might be. These findings suggest that the growing availability of competitor information in the digital age may lead firms to be more aligned with their competitors. And that even in competitive markets, and even as market information becomes increasingly accessible, managers may need to worry about inattention to their immediate competitive environment. You can find more details in the full paper here, and feel free to get in touch with any questions.